Hello, I'm Deb Knight. Welcome to A Current Affair. So much for the Christmas spirit. With just 10 more sleeps until the big day, heartless parcel pinchers are out in force, snatching presents from outside family homes. And some have been caught on camera. <laughs> Christmas Grinches on the prowl. I think they just think they can get away with it. Thieves pinching packages from porches across the country. Like this brazen bandit in Brisbane, filling up a sack weeks out from Christmas. Santa won't be coming to this Melbourne home either, thanks to a parcel poacher snatching a loot of toys that were supposed... Is take a few minutes just to think about where your parcel's being delivered. You can also send it to a trusted neighbour or a family member. But whatever you do, don't leave it on the doorstep. She's travelled the world, but put down roots in a little Victorian town. Now, getaway star Katrina Roundtree has joined neighbours to save their slice of paradise, fighting plans to build a huge waste incinerator. We've got so much going for this area. An incinerator? How on earth does that fit into the picture? Who wants to live next to an incinerator that's got an 80 metre high exhaust stack? More than hell. It will be unlivable. Burns, please, cars! Burns, please, cars! It is definitely one of those situations that you've got to shout loud to be heard. We just can't let something like this be passed on for future generations, let alone for us locals to have to endure. smell it yet, you can't hear it yet, you can't even see it, because it hasn't been built yet. We knew it was coming, but we never thought anyone would be foolish enough to approve it. But sure enough, we are here now. To stop it and make sure it never happens. When the government approves a humongous incinerator to burn 400,000 tonnes of rubbish and tower over Lara, a country town near Geelong, southwest of Melbourne, the burning question is, who do you sue if it all goes up in smoke? Um, who do we sue if, that, if people get sick and that goes ahead? Is that you? I am so worried about my baby. It is... It well, the fight is on and it does have a way to go. If developers get their plan through, construction of that waste incinerator would start in 2025. Bernice and Grant are at their wits' end with their insurer. In a huge financial shock, the pensioners have copped a 300% hike on their policy renewal. As loyal customers, they feel angry and betrayed. $2,496.29 last year. Wow. Now it's $7,726.97. That's the, a jump more than $5,000. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Pensioners Grant and Bernice are feeling the pinch. Anyone look at that and say, what? There's got to be a, a typing error. It could never be that much of a jump. But sadly, this is no typo from their insurance company. Do you feel like they're taking you for a ride? Very much. Very right? much, yes. There's no loyalty there anymore. Every man, every dog for himself. The couple has called this place home on Queensland's Sunshine Coast for 10 years. Cheers, Tom. Cheers, bud. Retired grandparents, they've been loyal customers with RACQ Insurance, covering their home contents and cars for year after year. That's until they received this renewal notice in the mail. I was absolutely peeved off, dis disappointed in RACQ. They're supposed to be there for the members. Their home and contents premium soared to more than 7,000. Up next, farewell possums. An all-star cast and a king give the great Barry Humphreys a fitting send-off. He was a, a raconteur of incredible, incredible importance um, and genius. Welcome back. One of our greatest 
has taken his final curtain call. Today, family, friends and stars from around the world gathered at a state memorial service for Barry Humphreys. The event even having a royal flavour befitting a dame. Hello, Possums. Yes, it's me, Dame Edna, and aren't I looking gorgeous? It was a show befitting the ultimate showman. Well, I'm wearing the hat of a diplomat. Taking us on a journey of the life of a man who just wanted to make people laugh. Beryl makes a lovely sponge finger. Sydney's Opera House was the venue, the Harbour City glistening in honour of John Barry Humphreys. It is fitting in every way, I would suggest, that we are here today in the magnificent Sydney Opera House. Barry loved this building. As an indication of the impact that Barry Humphreys had on all our lives, or was that Dave Mendner, Celeste Patterson, what about Sandy Stone? Today's state memorial drew fans from all walks of life to bid farewell to the comic genius. One guest had us guessing. I thought we are here to say goodbye to you. No, I'm back. I'm resurrected. And does he know that you've raided his wardrobe? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment royalty, suburban housewives, political heavyweights, the concert hall was, in theatrical terms, near full house. <laughs> They've found me a better seat. <laughs> For Barry Humphreys, the king of comedy, what else but a message from the king of the Commonwealth? That all those who appeared on stage or on TV with Barry's Dame Edna, or who found her appearing at the back of the royal box, will have shared that unique sensation where fear and fun combine. Those who wondered whether Australia's housewife superstar might this time just go too far were always proved right. From the king to a knight, Sir Elton John. Barry Humphreys was one of the funniest people in the world, but you all know that. But he's also one of the kindest and most generous person to me. Surrounded by chrysanthemums and, of course, Dame Edna's favourite, gladioli. Nod of approval. After the break, the crooks hoping for a white Christmas, busted big time by a border force blitz. The recipient of that Christmas card certainly not getting a very Merry Christmas. Drive away in a brand new GWM today and save on a range of 2023 plate clearance models. With SUV deals from just $26,990 drive away and savings of up to $2,000, hurry in before you miss out. Next week, Christmas nasties in the mail. Cocaine in your Christmas card. They've made out a foil to try and trick the x-rays. Inside Border Forces Chrissy Blitz. You're not getting to pass us. Kids toys, baby food, pillows, even thongs. You won't believe what some people thought they were getting for Christmas. That report on Monday. And that's our program. I'm Deb Knight. Thanks for your company. From the team, enjoy your evening. Good night.